Oh my god. Hello, 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 hello. This is The Rampage. I'm your host, Mirad, and today is our Valentine's Day special, even though it's after Valentine's Day. I don't know how that works, but you know, we still wanted to get it in, you know, relates to the show. We talk about relationships. It's a big day for relationships, so, you know, we wanted to do it. Um, and of course, if you're listening, you're listening to us live on WBCR.net. If you want to keep up with my show and all the other shows on WBCR, you can follow us on Instagram at WBCR underscore CUNY. And for full length episodes and where the episodes go after they're live, you also go to the YouTube, which is WBCR underscore CUNY. Yo, if my computer keeps unplugging, it's going to be a problem. Please act right. Please act right. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Oh, yeah. Right. So um, if you want to keep up with our show, wait, we're trying to do an advice segment, bro. I have a million things that I want to say. I'm trying to say them all at the same time. Okay. If you want to keep up with our show, you can follow us on Instagram at the Rampage WBCR for the weekly question where we ask our listeners different questions every week and we read out your responses on the show. If you want us to read out your response, you got to follow us. So it's the Rampage WBCR on Instagram. Um, we also want to do an advice segment. So email us your dilemmas at the Rampage WBCR at gmail.com. Or we're trying to get a Google voice number going so you guys could leave us voicemails. So you guys could, you know, send us your dilemmas that way as well. When we get that up and going, I'll tell y'all what the number is that you can call. But yeah, how have you guys been? Oh my God, it's been... It's been a minute. It's been a minute. How's the team been, y'all? How we doing? Andy, how you doing? It's going good, you know. We're starting strong this semester. Uh-huh. Hopefully that's how everybody's is as well. You uh-huh. know, we're going past this semester. But I think this is also our last semester, too, because we're, like, graduating. After that's this true. Semester. We are graduating. A lot of us are graduating. Well, everybody except one person, but we'll get to them a little bit later. Stacy, how you doing? <laughs> I'm pretty good, you know. Uh-huh. Um got a lot going on but you know good things happening real i like that and our newest member of the rampage team is ej Woo. hey what's up what's up what's up <laughs> so ej is our music coordinator he plans the break music he selects the break music that you guys will listen to during the break um but he will also be part of the team so whatever questions i ask out to the team He'll be answering them as well. So thank you for joining the team. Woo. Glad to be here. Thank you. All right. Also, how are you? How have you been? Um, I don't know. It's been a busy break, a busy start of the semester. I feel like just taking it day by day, planning out the next day, the day before. Mm-hmm. So yeah. literally just taking it one day at a time. Yeah. Right. Real. Very real. Um, also on the show, I like to do visual descriptions, and because we don't have a camera, it actually makes sense for me to do visual descriptions. So, um, I'm wearing a black hijab, two hair clips, I'm saying that like y'all can see it, two hair clips to keep my hijab up, gold glasses, because I wear them all the time, a pink essentials hoodie, um, and black sweatpants and black Yeezys. Fun fact, these Yeezys are not real, they're from DHgate. Anyways, not the point, but, you know, I just like to share no gatekeeping here. No gatekeeping. Um, so, obviously, because this is the Valentine's Day special, I want to ask, how did everybody's Valentine's Day go? I'm going to start with Andy. You know, going to the gym, you know, and just work out. You know, self-love, self-motivation. Right. I like that for you. Did you do anything for yourself other than go to the gym? Like, get something nice to eat? Yeah, at home. <laughs> my mom cooked me some food but nah but yeah uh-huh. I, I did give her some flowers you know, she was that a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> why did we laugh? <laughs> <laughs> he said I'm trying to think he said yeah you know food at home I was like okay cool you know nothing wrong with that with eating at home no, nothing saying, wrong with that yeah we, we, this is Brooklyn you know we, we gotta you know save as much money as we can right you right as hell what about you Stacy? It was pretty good. Went out yesterday, had a fun mm-hmm. time, went to a bar with live music. Great experience. Love this for you. Wait, what bar was it? A uh, groove. Somewhere in Manhattan, like lower nice. Manhattan. Oh, I heard of it. 
Groove NYC, something yeah, like that. It's by like NYU, that area. Uh, Wait, is that that one place with like all like the lights and it's kind of like disco-ish, but it's not really disco-y? I don't know if I'm picturing the same thing. As Damn, you. yeah, it could be just somewhere else. Yeah. Mm, okay. And how was your Valentine's Day? Uh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I had fun that day. Um, uh huh. Went out to eat, spent some time with a cool person, mm-hmm. and exchange gifts. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I also have fun too on Valentine's Day, if you guys even care. Um Yeah, I went out to eat, exchanged gifts with a friend, and went home. It was a nice day though. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Right, so now that we're getting into it, what is Valentine's Day? You know we like to start off the show with definitions of what we're talking about. So, whoa. So Valentine's Day is defined by Britannica. Shout out Britannica for the definitions, bro, because what would we do without you? We love a good definition. So according to Britannica, Valentine's Day is a holiday on February 14th where lovers express their affection with greetings and gifts. So apparently the origins of it, I don't know if y'all know this, the origins of it come from an old Roman pagan holiday called Lupercalia, which celebrates the fertility of women. And men would strip naked, sacrifice goats and dogs, and basically, there would be, like, a lottery system where it's like, okay, if you're a woman, you just get assigned to a man. And then it's like, boom, you guys are a couple. Go be a couple. Go have kids. So, okay. And it happened in the middle of February every year. Why did they stop? Why did they <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I Good guess, question. like, middle of February is just, it's cold. A little bit. I don't know. Is it cold where Rome used to be? Is it cold in Italy this time of year? I don't know. I should ask an Italian person. Where's Daniel when you need him, bro? We miss Daniel. Shout out Daniel. Shout out Daniel. But yeah, bro. I have no idea why they stopped. No idea. I thought it was like named after a person. Oh, the Saint Saint Valentine? Yeah. Yeah. I think part of that oh yeah, if y'all don't know the Saint Valentine thing, the Saint Valentine thing is like I don't remember because I heard the story years ago. I should have did research when I was making this outline. But again, another thing on the long list of things that we didn't do today. But it's okay. Um, so basically, St. Valentine was this dude who would, like, marry soldiers off to their lovers in secret because... What was it? I think the soldiers weren't allowed to be married. Like, if you were serving in the military... I don't know where... I don't know the military where or at what time, but it's like if you were serving in the military at this place at this time when St. Valentine was around, it was like illegal to. So a lot of the soldiers would marry in secret and the saint would like officiate their wedding for them. I think that's what that was. Yeah. I'm trying to remember because, bro, I went to Islamic school and they were like, no, Valentine's Day. Do you know the origin of this holiday? You are not allowed to celebrate. Like, it was it was a thing, bro. It was a whole thing. Anyways. Yeah. So seeing that it's all about, like, love and couples and stuff Uh in modern day, can we extend that to friends and family, too? Or I think so. This is a question that I was actually going to touch on. Is Valentine's Day only for couples or can anybody celebrate it? I feel like anybody could celebrate it. I feel like that too. I feel yeah. like it's just for people you love and you could just show affection and just do that. It doesn't have to be like, yeah, oh my God. It doesn't have to be like you just, you need to be in a romantic relationship to do it, you know? So what do you think, Andy? Do you feel like Valentine's Day is only for couples? I mean, it. I feel like yes, but, you know, I feel like it doesn't always have to be just strictly couples. It could be, you know, brotherly love, sisterly love. Mm-hmm. It could go to your parents. Like, that's why I reiterated before. I, I bought my mother, uh, you know, two roses. Right. Show her that, you know, not just Valentine's Day, but, you know, I, I just, I, I love her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you care about her. I did that for my mom last year. I think I bought her flowers, too. But, yeah, I feel like it is just a day for people that you love. It doesn't have to be nothing crazy. What do you think, EJ? Is it just for couples, or can anybody celebrate it? Um, Anybody can definitely celebrate it, but I feel like the root of it is deeply rooted in relationships, so I feel like we shouldn't stray away from that too much. But, mm-hmm. 
What should get pushed out is relationships, relationships, relationships. You think it should be the focus of Valentine's Day, just relationships? Yeah, but friends matter too. Other people okay. matter too. So then what do y'all think about like Galentine's? What is that? It's like a get together with your friends. That's Usually for women. Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like basically a bunch of women who are friends. They get together and they do like a celebration. Um, I think it's like a little sad. <laughs> Is like, it? Where like where are their yeah. partners? <laughs> Um, Why do know. they have free time on Valentine's Day? Boo. They don't do it on <laughs> Valentine's Day. Some like, people just oh, okay, do it okay, before. Okay, yeah. Some people do that's it after. Different. That's different. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't but, have to be on that day. I mean, that's cute. I guess. I guess it's crazy. <laughs> I feel like, I think it's nice, you know? It's just you have people, again, that you love, that you care about, and you're just, you're all meeting up together to have, like, a little party. Like, it's a little bit different from, like, Friendsgiving, though, because Friendsgiving, it's like, yeah, like... <laughs> we all like cook together, but it's relationship like centered, so mm. yeah. So it feels a little strange for you. Yeah, a little That's strange, fair. a little strange. What about you, Stacey? You feel like Galentine's? How you feel about Galentine's? I'm not against it. I literally mm. went to one on Sunday, and then I'm going to another one this Saturday. So Cute. I'm not against it. I like that. I like that. What do you do at a Galentine's? Well, the one on Sunday we went for dinner. Mm-hmm. Um. The one on Saturday, I think we're going to a friend's house, but um, I guess it's just going to be, like, us, like, hanging out together, probably, like, making stuff together, you know? Like cookies or something? I don't know what their plan is, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, but, like, I've seen clips uh-huh. of it on Instagram, and, right. like, girls, like, they dress up in matching pajamas, yeah. and, you know, they make cookies or chocolate dipped strawberries yeah. drink a glass of wine or something uh-huh. have fun together right so it's chill that's cute that's cute i like that um i think i went to one but it was like years ago and i think i did another one with my cousin also with my cousins also years ago where like we all just gave each other gifts so yeah um okay so i don't know if everybody here is in a relationship or not but i'm gonna just ask anyway if you are in a couple, do you have to ask your significant other every year to be your Valentine, or do you just assume that they're your Valentine? What do we think? You must ask always. I don't care if you've been married for fifty years. Thank you. Ask. Thank you. I appreciate that. See, we right here, Stacey. See, we got each we're, other. We're right here. We're right here. <laughs> Why well, asked my professor the other day? Well, he's not my professor. I'm a TA. So I asked him because he's married. I was just like, oh, did you ask your wife to be a Valentine? He was just like. Psh no i was like what do you mean no he was just like bro like we're married like come on after a certain amount of time it's just like we assume that we're together so it's just like like it don't really matter you know the audacity boo tomato 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 Mm -hmm. i also think that you should just ask every year and make it cute you know why not why not what about you andy what do you think um yeah you know you should it's always assumed, but, you know, sometimes there are females who are like, you know, don't give me nothing this year because, you know, I don't want you to spend money. But, you know, it's it's normally it's assumed, like, as a male, you're supposed to, you know, treat your significant other with, like, you know, flowers and candy. But that's not what the question is. The question is, do you ask? Um. Yeah, you should ask. That's, but that, that's, that's the thing, what I'm saying, like, um... Nowadays, it's just assumed you don't even have to ask. You should do it. Mm-hmm. What about you, EJ? Do you think you should ask or do you think? <laughs> yeah, you should definitely ask. But it okay. depends on your dynamic with the person. You could, if you guys are kind of like the like lax couple where everything is kind of just like assumed and you don't really have to say X, Y, and Z for them to understand that this is what you mean, then mm-hmm. you don't really need it. But y- you always should. Mm-hmm. Have y'all seen the TikTok trend where it was just like, oh, my boyfriend didn't ask me <laughs> to be my <laughs> to be my Valentine. <laughs> and it's like, I'm selling him. That shit was mad crazy. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that on the video, but it's okay. Um, that was mad crazy, especially when your partner is black during Black History Month. And it's like, I'm selling my partner. Ooh. That was kind of crazy. Just wanted to throw that out there. I don't know if y'all have seen that, but mm-hmm. yeah. Thought that was kind of trifling. Just a teeny bit. But anyways, on to the next point. On to the next point. Do you guys feel like it's more for women or for men? 
It's more for women. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, I feel like a lot of men don't really care for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Is that true? The men in this room, do y'all care about <laughs> Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, I'm gonna keep it a bug. I think it's mostly for women. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh-huh. I feel like if. You know, the only reason I would put so much effort in is because, you know, you got to make your significant other, you know, feel special. Right. And if one of those days that it gets really, you know, uh, emphasized a lot is on Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. If it's not on Valentine's Day, it's on the birthday. But, you know, right. Valentine's Day is where, um, you know, you show it all. But even though you should be showing it every day, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's I how mean, it is. That's I what mean. I'd like to add. Like, I'm pretty sure if you did, like, a really good gesture on a different day that wasn't Valentine's Day, it would be more appreciated than if you did something on Valentine's Day of that same mm-hmm. degree. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know, but I feel like if you do nothing on Valentine's Day, it's just like, damn, the day where everybody yeah, is like being you, appreciated like you couldn't and do loved on. You couldn't do song. nothing. Yeah. Couldn't do nothing. I don't know. I just, I feel like you should do something. Mm. something but i do think it is more for women than for men i don't know it's not that men don't care but it's like i don't know i guess it's more about like pleasing your woman what does your woman want stuff like that but yeah what is the best valentine's day gift you guys have ever gotten i feel like Mm. only you mia and stacy could answer that (laughs) Why? You never got nothing nice on Valentine's Day? No. <gasps> Damn. Yikes. Damn, dude. I hate that for you. One of these days is going to get better. I promise. One of these days. One of these days is going to get better. What about you, Stacy? <laughs> Brought me back to my childhood. My mom got me this big dog, like, from the floor up to this table right here. Okay, for the people that can't see. um, Your knee. Or, like, a little up past your knee. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, that was my best Valentine's Day gift. It was a doll? No, a dog. Like, a stuffed oh, dog. Oh, yeah. okay. I was like, she got you a big-ass dog <laughs> on Valentine's Day? Whoa. Whoa. Not bad. But that's cute. I like that. I like when parents get their kids gifts on Valentine's Day. I think it's sweet. I think it's very sweet. Where was that, bro? Right. What about you, EJ? What was the best Valentine's Day gift you ever got? Um. <laughs> Oh my god! I hope it wasn't nothing because right. don't say nothing. <laughs> no, 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 oh. no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, like, that would that would suck. But um, I don't know. Only because it's like a core memory. I think I got one of those grams like back when I was like a child, and I uh-huh. didn't know who it was from. Oh. And it was completely anonymous, so I felt Ooh. that was like a really good gesture. But then nobody came up to me and said like, "Hey, like I got you this." Uh. So couldn't really claim that love. Mm. For real. Damn. So, Damn. That was a good one though. Damn. That was a good one. Yeah. I'm trying to think, if I ever got anything when I was a kid. <laughs> I don't want to pull the end and be like mm, nothing, but I can't remember nothing Damn. right now. Like when I was a kid, not really. No, hmm. I'm trying to think, what was the best one that I ever got? Damn, <laughs> is it really nothing? Damn, there was one, but I don't want to say because. Uh, that was corny, and that was years ago, so I'm not going to say it. What I will say is, I remember me and a friend, we did Valentine's Day in, back in high school, and it was really cute. She got, like, a little, what was it? I think I still have it in my wallet to this day. I don't know if it's in there, but it's, like, a little paper where it's just, like, oh, something corny where it was just, like, oh, we're parallel lines, we'll always be together, or, like, we'll always be side by side, something corny like that, but I thought it was sweet. So that's cute. And I think did I get her something? I don't know if I did. Not sure. But yeah. That was really cute. But now that I remember that. Yeah. That makes me wonder like like for Valentine's Day, of course, like the girls always get something, but like mm-hmm. do guys deserve gifts too? Like <laughs> <laughs> that, I was waiting for it. Like what do guys want? It. Like actually yeah, no. What do you guys want for Valentine's Day? That's a great question. What do y'all want? You want to be honest with you? Yes, be honest. I want a, ba- I want a back massage. That's what I want. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, bro. My back be doing this. 
You can't see it, but my back is in the shape of a C all the time. Like, I'm not I hear even that. talking about, like, no, like, you know, flowers, like, you know, <laughs> a or something. Right. I just want, you know, just to have a back massage. You know, my back be killing me sometimes. <laughs> just wait up this book bag, you know, that pressure. It's just, right. You know, I hear you, bro. Like, when I, I hear back you. massages are, are where it's at, you know. It hits the spot. <laughs> okay. Fair. Fair. What about you? What do you want? Like, this has to be like a shared thought between the whole <laughs> man. Because I want the want same massage, thing. That's it. That's I fair. Just some, just some peace and quiet. Fair. So you don't even want the person to be like sitting next to you saying nothing. Just like. Just leave me alone for a day. No, like you're next to me. Just we're just uh-huh. chilling. That's uh, that's it. It's okay. Peace and quiet. Okay, fair. I like that. Um, I'm trying to think. What's the what's the next thing I want to ask? What's the next thing I want to ask? Um, what's the worst Valentine's Day gift you ever got? Andy, don't say nothing. Please don't say nothing. Some donuts. <laughs> Some donuts? No, I said I wasn't gonna. Oh, okay. Ooh. Thank God. Thank God. What is the worst thing you've ever gotten? I don't know. I never had like a worst thing. I feel like I just didn't get anything for a year and that was it. I don't think I ever got a worst thing. Me either. Have you ever got a worst thing? Yes. <gasps> what was it? Back when I had my first car. Uh huh. We went out. I kind of didn't want to go out because it was kind of like a situation ship kind of thing. Ooh. And, like, I didn't, like, I wasn't really feeling them. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But I was like, fuck it, I'll go anyway. They were, like, kind of, like, nagging me. So I go, and I get a flat tire. <gasps> no. No spare. No spare. Tow truck. No. Money. Spending on top of money. We still went, though, because I had to get my tire changed. But, yeah. Damn. Spent more money than I wanted to. Damn. And that person's not even here anymore. So. <gasps> You got me. <laughs> Damn, bro. I hate you. I don't hate you. Whoa, I hate that for you. Sorry. Misspoke. But yeah, nah. That Actually, was crazy. That happened to me twice. <gasps> I should probably keep like spare tires in you the back of my keep car. You spare tires. But I don't know. Damn, I never dude. learned my lesson. Damn. You just I'm going to go buy a spare tire, actually. You <laughs> need to. That's what it sounds like. You get spare tires often. Um. Okay, so I feel like even when it comes to gifts... Especially for Valentine's Day, it don't even got to be nothing crazy. I feel like if it's just something thoughtful and you're considering the other person, then I feel like that should be enough because, you know, it's the thought that counts. You know, that's what the whole, that's what this whole thing is about. Being thoughtful, showing people that you love and that you care, that you care about them. And, well, basically, yeah, bro, just be thoughtful. I feel like that's the basis of it. Or do you feel like you can't just be thoughtful you could just like throw money at a person or like get a really big gift or like a really expensive gift and that'll be cool. What matters more to you? I'd have to say the thought behind the gift mm-hmm. matters more. Okay. Yeah. Fair. So if somebody just bought you like what's the what's the what did Young Thug get? Mariah, the scientist. You got her two Cuban links, Cuban link necklaces. Mm. So if somebody just got you two Cuban link necklaces and was just like, here, happy Valentine's Day. How would you react, Stacey? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a different reaction. I would uh-huh. take it. Yeah, right. Thank like, you. <laughs> right. I would appreciate it, you know. Uh-huh. But, hmm. I don't know. Because I remember somebody I knew was in the situation where, like, they said that they like jewelry and that they're, like, a jewelry person. Mm-hmm. And somebody got them jewelry, but it wasn't the jewelry that they wanted. It was, like, a whole other material a whole other style and she said like i want this specific thing so i don't know did she reject the gift or did she accept the gift i can't remember what she did with it but how would you feel if you're in a situation like that where it's just like okay i told you i wanted something exactly like this and then you go and you get something completely different how would you feel can I answer first? Yeah, yeah. I feel like if you're doing that for Valentine's Day, like, you should just, like, make that your birthday. Because why are you asking me for, like, a specific gift on Valentine's Day? Like, it's supposed to be thoughtful. Uh-huh. If that's your dynamic where you guys explicitly state everything that you guys want, then uh-huh. that's understandable. But okay. it's it's, it's kind of, like, a little, like, a tad bit heartless. Because it's just, like, mm. what if, like, I couldn't even get you that and you really, mm. really wanted it? 
Interesting. Interesting. I don't know. I feel like if I say something and I want something a certain way, you get it for me. And, like, it's not like that. Then it's like, do you even be listening for real? I was just thinking that, too. So it's like, I don't know. I want something that shows. I guess part of being thoughtful is, like, you listen to what I say. Right, right, right. And you, like, keep track of what I be saying. So it's like. I mean, but how are you hmm. asking for it? Like, are you saying, like, yeah, like, give me this? Or are you just, like, dropping No, you're saying, like, like, if you have conversations, you'd be like, I like, I don't know. I like Kit Kat chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then you go and you get me. Reese's Pieces. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. Like, I never in my life have I said I like Reese's Pieces. So, like, why are you getting me Reese's Pieces? Like, sure, this is nice. Thanks mm -hmm. for the chocolate. But okay. it wasn't what I wanted. You right. know? I think there's a difference. You right. know? So, yeah. What do... I was going to say something. And I lost my thought. But it's okay. On to the next. On to the next. How do you guys feel about handmade gifts? Like handmade cards, handmade objects, whatever. How do y'all feel about that for Valentine's Day? Are you asking all of us or just the I girls? mean, I was looking at you, <laughs> but I mean, I'm asking all of you. I was going to let so, someone else answer first. Andy, oh. how do you feel about handmade gifts for Valentine's Day? Someone got you a handmade gift. I'm, I'm keeping that forever. Are you? Hell yeah. Are you? Why are you keeping it? Because it's like... That's like the first thing that she made by herself with her hands. You know, uh -huh. it's not like she's buying it out. So right. She she put that thought, she made it. Yeah. For me, hey. you know what I'm saying? Like that, that tells a lot, honestly. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, honestly, I, that's like, I would cherish. I hear that. What about you, EJ? If you got a handmade gift, because mm. I like gestures do? more than like expensive stuff. So. Mm -hmm. If you end up getting me something that you thought about and took the time out of your day to think about me mm -hmm. and craft it, right. like a one-of-one one piece, because mm -hmm. I also like fashion. And if you got me something that nobody else got and it's for me, I love it. Mm. I like that. I like that. What about you, Stacey? I'm the type where, like, I appreciate anything that I got. Mm -hmm. So, like, right. if someone took the time out to, like, hand make something for me, like, yeah. I'm keeping that forever. Right. So... You're kind of real. You're kind of real. I also keep, like, letters, especially if people write, like, birthday letters or whatever. I also hold on to that for, like, the rest of my life. I'm also, like, Andy. I will hold on to anything that anybody makes for me. Um, Damn. It is 135. And we was definitely supposed to go on a break a while ago. So I think we're going to go on that break right now. Um, Trying to think. What's the song that we're playing? I think it's How Does It Make You Feel by Victoria Monet, trying to keep with the Valentine's Day theme. And we'll see you guys after this. Bye. Stick around. Please stick around. <laughs> we'll be back after this. Are we back? I hope we're back. Yes, we're back. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So we ended on the note of you should be thoughtful with your valentine because that's what the whole day is for right that's the whole point that's the whole point so um we kind of touched on this a little bit but i wanted to ask you guys if you could rank these things in the order of importance to you now we have a lot of diverse interests in here andy said he wanted a back massage ej said he wanted a back massage and quality time i guess mm -hmm. yeah. right um I think Stacy wants a gift for Valentine's Day. And I also want a gift for Valentine's Day. And quality time, too. So, I want to ask you guys to rate these things in the order of importance to you. So, we have flowers. Somebody getting your favorite candy or chocolate. A handwritten note or card. A hug. Somebody taking care of something for you that you've been meaning to do for a long time. Um, a teddy bear. Or somebody taking off work to spend time with you. Ooh. So, what is the most important to the least important thing for you? Top two for me is already the taking time off from work to spend time with me and the handwritten card. But, like, only if it's, like, your true, genuine feelings. Not, like, <laughs> you <laughs> write my name <laughs> on top. You know how cards have, like, the pre-written message in yeah, there? Yeah. Please. Okay. 
do not give me a card with the message in there and then you just write my name on top and yours on the bottom like actually write your a feelings message. in there yeah right. I'm not gonna Makes lie sense. I don't even read like the pre like written messages that uh-huh. like are on the card like I just skip straight to like if there's money in there or not <laughs> right. and Real. then like whatever they wrote down like uh-huh. they should just make blank cards Right. I think there are blank cards, but nobody I don't gets know. them. I've well I've never received them in the twenty two years. So mm. so. <laughs> Let's hope that changes. Please. Yeah. We need that to change. Um also called. So then what about for you? What is the most important thing to you? Um definitely taking time off work and mm-hmm. quality time. Mm-hmm. Um candy's also a plus. Because, mm-hmm. like how do you know my favorite candy? Right. But I kind of want to change that taking time off work because there's definitely people that's like taking time off work <laughs> and like they ended up doing me dirty at the oh, end of the day. No. So it's kind of like, oh my God. what is that even worth? Damn. You know? You dead could have just been at your job making yeah, money. Yeah, I could have been making I money. I could have been minding my business yeah, at the so. house. Comfortable. No, I, I hear that. I feel that. I yeah. hear that. What about you, Andy? What is the most important things for you? Quality of time, mm-hmm. but also like what EJ was saying. Damn, if a girl like takes the time to like leave her job and come see me, mm-hmm. that's that's amazing. Yeah, right. That's definitely amazing, especially for a guy. Because mm-hmm. mostly all of that stuff, you, uh, the guy would be doing it for the girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if it's in the reverse, mm-hmm. that's like you know, that's like oh, you making me, you making me feel special. Yeah, right. I hear that. I'm trying to think, what is the most important thing to me? I mean, it really do just be quality time. And I think, what else? I like handwritten stuff. I like, what else do I like? What else do I like? Kind of thing. Um, just being thoughtful. That's another thing. You got to be thoughtful with the time. It can't just, like, you be taken off of work to be doing nonsense. I don't know. I like taking off work to doing things that I think are fun or you think are fun. And you think you're like, oh, yeah, this was this would be a good idea to do together. Or, like, it combines interests. I think I think that's good, too. I like stuff like that, too. All right. So I think we're getting close. Are we getting close to the end of the show? It don't matter. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> that was your phone? Yeah. Okay. I'm good. It's okay. Stacey, drop her phone, y'all. We're okay. Um, I wanted to ask... I think this is like the final things that I'm going to ask. What is the Valentine's Day thing that you love, you love, you love, you love, you love? (laughs) Well, don't answer all at once, (laughs) y'all. What's our age range on the show? Like, do we have like a poll? (laughs) Do we have a poll? Yeah, a poll on like... For us or the listeners? The listeners. No, no, no. As in like the age range of who watches the show. Oh, uh, they're adults. Like 18 to... You say 40 is the demographic of adults in media. But, yeah, uh, we just we can't really be cursing on here because, you know, it's radio. But, yeah. Yeah, I like quality time. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. No, I meant, like, in general about, like, the holiday. What are things about Valentine's Day that you love? Like, is it seeing people walk around with flowers? Oh, is no, it... I hate that. <laughs> Why do you hate that? Because it's, like, you couldn't do this, like, the day before, like, on a different day, like, you waited till today to do it. It's kind of like, now nah, everybody's doing it. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like society has made it that way. Like, with any any holiday. Mm, like, so it's just like you're doing stuff because everybody else is doing stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, interesting. So that's something that you don't like. No. Okay. I mean, yes. So what's something that you do like about Valentine's Day? What's something that you like seeing on Valentine's Day? Something that you look forward to about Valentine's Day? Damn. I mean, I'm not asking this to just you. I'm asking oh, this yeah, to yeah, the yeah, room. Definitely. So, you know. For everyone or just for I feel like, like for us? Me, I, I feel like for me, if I was in the for position everybody. where I was actually, you know, seeing a significant other, uh-huh. I feel like it would be the thrill of the hunt, meaning, like, I'm actually finding what am I going to give her, uh, you know, putting in the effort to, like, plan it all out. Nice. I like that. I like that. I like that. I'm trying to think, what's the thing about Valentine's Day that I love? I mean, my favorite color is pink. So, you know, I love seeing pink stuff everywhere. I love seeing red decorations everywhere. Heart covered, everything. See hearts everywhere. 
I think it's really cute. I'm also a hopeless romantic. So, you know, like seeing people walk around with like flowers and stuff. I'm like, this is so cute. I love this. This is so nice. I like that. I'm trying to think, what's a Valentine's Day thing that I hate? Ooh, that needs to be stopped. Um, oh, wait, no. I'd like to add. What? The music. I love the music. All the old R&B, all the uh, old everything. Those are, I, I love it. Right, the I old love, love songs. Those do be good. I'm not going to lie. They yeah. they ate with that one. Even if you're not in a relationship, like the song right. just makes you feel like you just broke up, got right, back right, together. Right, right. <laughs> the music. <laughs> Lauren Hill. The music do be good. I'm not going to lie. The music do be good. Mm. I want to. I want to talk about the music thing, but not on the show. I'm going to talk about that at another time. Okay. But, <laughs> sorry, you just <laughs> reminded me of something. Um, I'm trying to think, what's a Valentine's Day thing that I hate, bro? What do I hate about Valentine's Day? I mean, you don't have to hate anything. <laughs> right. That's true. I don't have to hate anything. What about you, Stacey? Is there something about Valentine's Day that you love, something that you hate, something that we need to stop? Um, I can't really think of anything. But then when you said the colors, it made me think like, yeah, I like seeing the outfits. Like people Ooh, put effort into their outfits. Nice, mm. you know, that's a good one. Fitting the theme. That's a good one. That's yeah. A good one. Nah, I feel like one thing I don't like uh-huh. is oh, the geez. increase in pricing and everything. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, Let's talk like, about it. Flower. Like if if it's any other regular day, of you know, one rose would be like you know five dollars. Yeah. But like if, like yesterday, I saw like walking down the street where I live. They were going for like almost, I guess, sixty for like sixty uh, for like yeah, like for a good ten roses. Oh, for a bouquet. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Especially roses. Mm. You want to buy roses on any day? They're like twenty. That's like standard for roses. But I feel like with any other flower, let's talk about that. The rose bias too. That's another thing. That's something that I hate. See, you got <laughs> me started, Andy. Something that I really hate is that everybody just buys roses, and I feel like. That's so lazy. Boo. There's other flowers. Boo. Buy other flowers. Buy other flowers. Also, yeah, I don't like how roses are so expensive. We need to do something about that. We need to protest. Especially the white ones, too. White roses are expensive? I thought yeah. that red would be expensive because that's the color that everybody goes for. Well, that's the thing. Like That's the color that everybody goes for. So it's like not mm. as expensive as the white ones. Mm. Oh, also, I'd like to add. Yeah. When I did go to the flower shop on Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. I saw... One of the florists, thing you call them, mm-hmm. they sprayed a rose. I didn't know that you could do that. Like it was a white rose, and he made it pink with spray paint. I was, I was like, I was that. like, yo, like, you can like, can you do that? I was like, yo, so I learned cool. yesterday that pink roses exist, but I thought it was natural until he said that. Yeah, I'm just like, bro, it's not I natural. Saw, that's what. I, wait, wait, no, wait, but in my know. garden, I saw my garden I grows roses, and yeah. they grow pink from the earth. They grow pink. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And then I think I remember in like the second grade we did like a science experiment oh, where the professor, fact-check. the professor, the teacher, she like cut a rose at the bottom of the stem and she like put food coloring in the water mm-hmm. and it was like yellow food coloring. She put the white rose in and it turned yellow. So I was like, ooh, that's pretty cool. So I like that. I like yellow that. roses are so natural. you could do. I mean, you could. I think yellow roses are natural. Like, part of it is, like, they're natural, and then the other part of it is, like, you can make them whatever, whatever color you want. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So you just get, like, a white one, dip it in colored water, and then it's, like, boom. Colorful rose. But, yeah, bro. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else that I think is annoying about Valentine's Day? Uh, not really. No. Not really. No. But I didn't know that you could spray dye, like, spray paint a flower. I didn't know that was a thing. I saw it in front of me. I was just like, damn. Yeah, is anything nice. real? Like, genuine? <laughs> <laughs> put spring, Nothing put is real. On it, so the glitter. Huh? Ooh. They put the glitter on the roses. Oh, no, but that's they like a little, like, They spray glitter? They, like, yeah, they, they, you know, sprinkle it. Sprinkle it, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I feel like that's cute, too. I feel like that's cute, too. How do y'all feel about plushies on Valentine's Day? Plushies? Those, too, also, in, ex, you know, crazily expensive. Are they? Yep. Damn, I haven't bought a plushie on Valentine's Day in a minute. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what the market is like <laughs> for plushies. <laughs> for, for plushies. <laughs> on Valentine's Day. Plushies are cool. I like plushies. Plushies I have a couple. Cool. I was supposed to bring... That's also a thing that I do that I forgot. Long list of things that we didn't do today, but what's it called? I always bring or try to bring a plushie every time I do a show. 
Um, I brought on a couple. I have like my strawberry. I have a pink llama. I have, I think it's like a stack of pancakes. I have a couple. I have a couple. But I didn't bring any today, unfortunately. So, you know, it's okay, though. Next time, next time, next time. Um, but yeah. So, is there anything else that y'all hate about Valentine's Day or no? I feel like, besides the pricing, it would just be the music. Damn. Why do you hate the music? I don't hate it. It's just that, you know, like with EJ, he's, he's been through a couple, you know, relationships before or dates. Yeah. So, you know, there's certain music that, you know. Triggering? Triggering. Oh, man. Like, let's say, I mean, like, you know, like, if you're if a couple is dating, right, they're going to listen to, like, you know, the, the Killing Me Softly song by the Refugees. But, like, you know, uh, Lauren Hill. Uh-huh. But then, like, if you're going through a breakup, you know, then people are going to be listening to Marvin's Room by Drake. <laughs> <laughs> so certain songs trigger you. So Killing Me Softly, we can't play that around you. Oh, no. It's a catchy. Yeah. You said we can't play that around you. You said I don't listen to that because, you know, it's but triggering. it's catchy, though. That's the thing. It is catchy. It's catchy. I'll and give you that. Good, <laughs> good music. Good music. Lauren Hill made some good music. Not going to lie. But what's it called? So what songs do you hear that are like, oh, I can't, I can't listen to this? Uh, Marvin's Room, I think. Marvin's yeah. Room by Drake? Yeah. You listen to it too many times or what? Nah, it's just like, it's, you know, it's annoying, I guess. Okay, fair. Wait, wait, wait. What do you fair. mean? Because that's like a timeless song. Like, that's my go-to. <laughs> that's I just, your go-to when you're sad? <laughs> that's my go-to. Is it? I mean, not my go-to, go-to, but it's... It's not annoying. It's, it's just on the triggering. Playlist. It's triggering. Okay, okay, oh, okay. Okay, fair. It's so, like it's associated with a bad memory. Yeah. Okay, okay fair. Fair. Yeah. I'll take that. Also, there is like that whole meme of like people being like, "Oh, I'm single on Valentine's Day," and it's like, "This is what I'm listening to." And it's like the place is just Marvin's room, back to back to back to back to back. Damn. I've seen that a lot, so you know, makes sense. I mean, you could really just close your eyes and pick anything <laughs> that Drake dropped in like from 2010 <laughs> to 2013, and you're just good to go. In your bag, right? That is true. I'm trying to think, are there any Valentine's Day songs that I can't stand? Not any that come to mind immediately. Not any that come to mind immediately. What about y'all? Any songs that y'all are sick of that you don't want to hear ever again <laughs> on Valentine's Day? I know this is kind of bad, mm-hmm. but I forgot the name of the song. But it's, the, it's the one where they're like, oh, we belong together. <laughs> but I hate that one. <laughs> Cut that off. <laughs> Mariah Carey. Yeah, Mariah Carey. It's Carrie. so catchy, bro. It's so catchy. Like, you couldn't think of anything Damn. else. I don't know. Guess not. Trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking of because my sisters, they've been arguing, not arguing all week, but like, <laughs> bro, they keep like beefing about stupid stuff, right? So <laughs> anytime one of them says something, she's just like, oh, I'm trying to remember what she said, bro. She said something like, oh, Oh, I think I told my sister, I was like, damn, bro, like, you always going through something, like, always going through something. And then my sister, she sang, you know the song, the Money Long song, she's like, twin, <laughs> where have you been? <laughs> that one. That, bro. They've been doing that all week, all week, all week. So one of them would be like, I'm tired, or like, I don't want to do this, I'm tired, I don't want to do this. The other one's like, twin, where have you been? But yeah. Oh, wait, I'd like to add something, something that yes. I don't like about Valentine's Day. Yes. Is hearing other people's issues about their relationships <gasps> on mm. Valentine's Day or like in damn. like the season in general? Because it's damn. just like, damn, like why are you trying to make me sad too? Like, I don't know. Damn, bro. If my sisters and cousins are listening, stop <gasps> telling me about your. Oh no! Wow. <laughs> damn, you putting them on the spot, bro. Damn, bro. I don't want to hear it anymore. N- I was gonna say something, but I can't say it. But I mean, it's. It's Black History Month, so I feel like I should be able to say it, you know? Oh. But anyways, <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to say it. So I was going to say, like, damn, they can't have a safe space? I mean, You're not a safe space? I am, but it's just like... Not on Valentine's Day. How much can I absorb before damn. I start getting sad, too? You damn, know, bro. like... I don't know, Trying gang. to protect your peace. Yeah. I don't know, gang. I mean, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. That's fair. Um, What else? So I hate about Valentine's Day. Ooh, not Valentine's Day specific, but when people, especially like moms, boy moms in specific, they're like, oh my God, God sent me a man to love. I asked God to send me a man <laughs> to love and he gave me you. I'm like, oh, that's so cringy. Yeah. 
I don't like that. It makes me feel very yucky. It's very like Oedipus complex. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Do y'all know what the Oedipus complex is? No? So no. basically it's a story. It's a Greek myth about this dude. His name's Oedipus. And he was like destined with this thing of like, what was it? He was gonna kill his father and marry his mother, right? That was like his whole curse. So his whole life, people have been doing things so that way, like he doesn't end up like that. But no matter what he does to escape fate, he oh he kills his dad and marries his mom without him knowing that he does that. So yeah, it's very oh no, very like why you a son marrying your mom? I don't like that. I don't like that. It's very I don't think ooh. a lot of people like that. <laughs> yeah, um. but yeah, that whole post. God gave me a man, and he gave me you, and it's like that is a baby. <laughs> Ma'am, that is that is that a is child. That is a child. That is an infant. He's just there, you know? But yeah. So, do we have any final thoughts on Valentine's Day? Or do we want to talk about something else? Any final thoughts? I don't have any more thoughts. Andy, do you have any more thoughts? No, I don't. No thoughts? Yep. That's fair. What about you, EJ? Any final thoughts? Um, no. Mm, fair. Okay. I think I want to share something. Do I want to share it? No. I don't want to share it on the air. But speaking of, actually, bro, I need to be decisive. Huh? Oh, thank you. Um, I need to be decisive. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to share. So it's okay. Save that for another time. But this has been the Valentine's Day special. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's been very real. You guys can't see it, but I'm doing a heart with my hands, you know, in other in honor of Valentine's Day, and just showing people that you care about them and that you love them in general. Um, is there anything else I don't want to say? Oh yeah, please don't be my ass, y'all. I know I said by the winter I was gonna have all the videos uploaded. <laughs> I said that. I know I said that. Um, it's looking it's looking real rough for me right now. Okay, like I'm traveling. I got a lot going on in my life. Like, I don't know, maybe when I get back, I'll be in a better place to answer those questions for y'all. But, um, what else is there to look out for? Excuse me. There's, yeah, so future episodes. There are two episodes already up on the YouTube, WBCR underscore CUNY. Um, if you want to watch old episodes, the rest of the episodes will be coming, I promise, at some point. I don't know how to answer that for y'all, but like, you know, it's, it's coming, it's coming um and what else oh yeah no show next week because i won't be here i'm going on vacation so i'll be back the week after um do you have a guest that week we might oh my god i think yeah the guest that week is my best friend oh my god it'll be so exciting i think we'll be talking about friendship and like an inner child talking about your inner child so it should be interesting Speaking of guests, so, this semester we're gonna have a lot of more guests. So we will. It's gonna be you know very engaging. So stay tuned. Are y'all. stacked up. We have a lot in store. A lot of people from the different bi- five boroughs. You know, mm-hmm. it's very exciting stuff that we have in the can for y'all. Experts um, too. Experts too. That's you know? true. We will be getting experts, y'all. We Tune will be getting in. Experts. Tune in. And thank you guys for listening. This has been the Rampage. I'm your host, Mirad. This has been the team. You guys want to say bye, team? Bye, guys. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> See you. Bye. Live long and prosper. Yeah.